Good morning, this is meteorologist Paul Collar. Wanted to give you an update on the severe weather potential for later this afternoon and this evening. The Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma continues to have a moderate risk of severe weather across portions of far southern Wisconsin. There is an enhanced area surrounding this across portions of southern Wisconsin and a slight risk extends into east central Wisconsin. Here's a close-up look at this uh, outlook area and you can see the areas of concern are mainly along and south of the line from Lone Rock to Madison to Kenosha uh, where the uh, moderate risk is in place. This is the tornado probability Again, it's showing the highest risk near the areas described before in the moderate risk area. This is the damaging wind probability. Again, this is uh, focused in the southern part of our county warning area, mainly south of uh, Madison to Racine. This is the hail probability, again, across portions of far southern Wisconsin is where the greatest threat is. This is uh, an experimental model from the HRRR, uh, valid at 5 p.m. this afternoon. Again, this is a depiction of what the atmosphere may look like at this time frame. It shows thunderstorms developing across portions of northeast Iowa into extreme southwest Wisconsin. As we move ahead in time, it does show uh, the potential for strong to severe thunderstorms expanding into south central Wisconsin. This is at 7 p.m., showing again the areas most likely to be affected, the moderate risk area. Uh, this is again at 7 p.m., these storms from around Madison over towards Janesville. And at 8 o'clock, they develop further south into Illinois. One of the factors we'll be looking at today is this ongoing area of rain across portions of Iowa and Illinois. A lot of times this can suppress the activity a little bit further south. So the current outlook may very well be adjusted further south uh, as the day goes on. Right now, we're looking at the greatest uh, risk being strong damaging winds. Again, some of these storms, right when they develop, will be capable of rotating. And so there is that tornado risk, especially southwest of Madison. So stay tuned for more updates on the situation. We likely will see some modifications to this risk area as the day goes on.